What's going on gang? Bolt Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Transformers Deluxe Class Titans Returns Twin Inferno, otherwise known as G1 Double Cross. This figure is really, really neat in robot mode. It's definitely something we've never gotten before. It's the first real monster bot that we're getting in the line. I believe there's going to be a Repugnus coming and I can't remember what the third one's name is. Eh, eh, whatever. It's a neat figure. That is for sure. It's definitely different and unique. It is definitely going to transform into a two-headed dragon. I can't imagine why anything, or I would guess anything else. The figure does have posable arms here in the dragon heads. They do, they do open up, and there's plenty of posability in the arms. Legs are posable. Everything's fine on the figure. I can't find any fault in the way the thing looks or performs in robot mode. The guns he does come with are pretty cool looking. They do combine in a rather strange fashion and make a giant Cybertronian ladder. Actually, they do make a gun of some sort that the Titan Master is supposed to sit on. So they're supposed to sit like that, but like every other Titan Master, I don't know what is going on with this new series of deluxes, but those pegs are actually too big for the bottom of the Titan Master's feet, so they can't actually peg in. They just kind of have to sit there. Now, speaking of Titan Masters, Twin Inferno's Titan Master is all white with a little bit of black. I'm not going to bother zooming in because there's really not much detail worth looking at other than, hey, look, he's a headmaster now. So moving into the transformation, the figure is highly detailed. So we'll take a look at that first before we get to the transformation. All of the, the chest plate, the arms, the shoulders, everything is well detailed, well molded, and very, very cool looking. I actually like the robot mode a lot. Transformation is pretty nifty. Put the arms straight down with the top of the heads facing towards the back of the figure, then grab the shoulders and flip them around to the front of the robot mode. Grab the, that entire section that you just flipped up and flip it back until the tops of the shoulders pegs into these little peg holes on the back there, like so. Then we come to the belly of the beast, literally, open it up and we can put the Titan Master inside. So make him sit or put him in a sitting position like that and he will fit right in there and sort of peg into place like that. And then we could close the tummy up. And that's that. One very, one very odd thing that I've noticed is that the pins here slide out quite a bit. And I end up having to relock them in place a lot. I don't know why. I guess they're just not in there all that tight. Eh, anyway. Moving on down to the legs, this is where things get a little bit interesting. So we take the tail bits that are on the side of the legs, fold them up, then grab the entire foot section at this gray piece just above the foot and flip it 180 degrees out towards the outside of the legs. Then we combine the legs, flip the legs over, or flip the lower part of the legs over to cover up the top legs, fold them up, and then what we want to do is actually get the gray bits folded in and underneath this little peg so they kind of latch into place. And it looks like it should go smoothly. It never does. See, we're supposed to get it in there and then that's supposed to peg into place, but it doesn't stay pegged in very well. And the amount of force required to get that pegged in is a little bit disconcerting. I don't think it's the best design in the world. The dragon mode we end up with is very, very cool, but a bit on the blocky side. I'm not surprised, mind you, but it definitely feels like they kind of stuffed dragon parts or stuck dragon parts onto the torso of a transformer. It's very weird. And I could see them actually using this mold as a repainted Deathsaurus. I really can, except Instead of two heads, the two arms fold out and then combine into one giant head. You have complete posability here in the dragon heads, which I completely forgot to show this to you in the robot mode, but the guns, the gun pegs actually fit on the side of the dragon heads like that. I completely neglected to show that to you. It works. It works okay. 
Then in this mode, what we could do with the guns is they will peg into these slots back here, and you can actually put a Titan Master right there. So the guns will peg in there, and then you can use them as back cannons. Actually, you're supposed to combine them first and then peg the combine mode onto the back here like that. I think the overall aesthetic works well. It is a little bit odd though, but it does work well when everything holds together. Just to give you guys an idea on the size of the dragon, here's the dragon next to Wirewolf or Weird Wolf. It's roughly the size of the deluxe robot mode. Now returning to Inferno back to robot mode, I do need to show you probably my biggest issue with the figure. And it's not huge, but it is annoying. Getting the figure's head back on is a bit problematic because that little connector there, the little latch that holds the head in, doesn't want to move. So getting the head back on is tough and requires a significant amount of force in order to not only get the head on, but to get the latch to catch. So you do need to be careful. Maybe that's just an issue with this first string of figures. I honestly do not know. Overall, Twinferno is a nifty figure, and I do like it. He does have some minor issues. I'm not particularly crazy about the dragon mode, but it's not bad. It's not anywhere near as flawed as, say, Skull Crusher or Skull Cruncher. It's definitely a cool, interesting figure based on a figure that I've actually never seen the G1 version of. I have never seen the G1 Double Cross figure. The only monster bot I've ever gotten a hold of in my hands is Repugnus, who is the yellow and red figure, not this guy. I've always wanted to, but I've just never been able to get a hold of him. Is Twinferno worth having in your Titans Return collection? Yes, I think so. But I'm going to be very, very interested to see what Hasbro does as a re retool of it. As I said earlier, I think a Deathsaurus retool of this figure could be in our future. Or heck, even an R.I.D. Megatron, that would work. So gang, I hope you have enjoyed this video review of Titans Returns Twinferno. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. And as always, I will catch you next time.